Hey there everybody, Ken here with another episode of Rainy Day Brain and today I want to talk a little bit more about what some of my triggers are for anxiety and depression and one of the big ones I've been wrestling with lately is the fear of time. The fear of time coming to an end for me. I am terrified of death. I am not religious and so I have no comforting images of an afterlife where I will still retain my consciousness and be able to reflect on a life lived good, bad, or indifferent. I'm absolutely horrified at the thought that I will not be here one day and that all of this experience and all of the lessons, all of the good things and bad things, the accumulation of which make me who I am, all that's going to be for nothing. And so I wrestle with that constantly, and I am in this cycle, never-ending cycle of angst because I feel like I'm running out of time. I'm acutely aware that there are probably more days behind me than there are in front of me. I don't like that, and so I'm always feeling rushed, like I have to do everything, and then at the same time, I feel like what I'm doing isn't worthwhile. I'm having an existential crisis, I guess. I'm middle-aged, I have no degree, I have no money to go back to school with, and really, honestly, in today's economy, today's world, the way the gig economy is taking over everything, there are so many people who paid through the nose for degrees that are doing them absolutely no good, they have tons of student debt, and they're doing the same type of jobs that I do, which is usually something customer service related. I'm getting old. And eventually, it's going to be harder for me to find a job. Every minute, I'm not figuring out how to improve my ability to make money. I feel guilty. So I feel guilty for playing the violin because I'm not going to make any money from that. I feel guilty for doing videos. I feel guilty for not being further ahead in life. Getting overwhelmed daily with the hopelessness of it all. Feeling that it doesn't matter and it's too late to change anything, that there's no more time left. And I wish that these thoughts were a little more intermittent, but it's a really frequent negative feedback loop that plagues me every single day. And I do what I'm supposed to do. I take my meds and I am mindful of my thoughts. Meditation has helped a little bit. But constantly being on guard against your own thoughts, constantly having to redirect negative thoughts and feelings to something more positive, it's exhausting. It really is. So I, I'm just tired. And, and I don't know anyone who's as terrified as I am of death. So I guess I want to pass the question off to you, the people watching this. What are your triggers? What sets you off into those spirals of anxiety and deep, deep depression? And how do you cope with those? What do you do? What works for you? And maybe together, if we share enough, I can pick up some useful tips from you and maybe I'll stumble across something that might work a little bit for me that that can be beneficial to you as well. So that's it. Let me know what are your triggers for your depression and anxiety, and is anyone else out there horribly afraid of dying? I can't grasp that. I can't grasp the fact that there was a time that I was not conscious that I didn't think or feel anything and that that's going to happen again. I am so terrified of that. And then the other side is it, well, who cares? <laughs> it doesn't matter anyway. So, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for listening to me. My next video I will do on my experiences with depression uh, and meditation and how that's been working for me. And, and we'll chat a little bit about that back and forth and share some ideas. All right. Thanks for watching. As always, uh, go ahead and send me your questions, Ken at don'tpunishpain.com. And until next time, I'm Ken. You take care.